Hi, I'm Matt Widener from NVIDIA Tech Marketing. I'm here to uh, show off our GameWorks VR uh, program. We're doing really cool stuff with, um, with developers and headset manufacturers. So you need uh, a really good GPU, of course, to, uh, to have that immersive experience. You want to get the high frame rates. You want low latency because those are the two things that are going to uh, help, help, you, help fool your brain into thinking that you are actually in a different place. So there's a lot of techniques that we can do to make that happen. And GameWorks VR is our program um, currently in alpha uh, that, that we can work with uh, developers on. And uh, we give them a lot of cool tools. Uh, some, some of the things that we can do with that, just from a high level, are uh, uh, direct mode. It used to be, you know, it, you would be a little difficult when you plug in a, a, a brand new headset and, and it wouldn't detect it. Uh, it, would, it would actually extend your monitor and you'd look at your your desktop and freak out because it was just 2D. Now you plug it in and uh, plug in the USB and it knows um, through the driver that you are attaching a VR headset. So uh, we also have um, context priority, which is um, we're, we're just basically prioritizing the headset movement so that um, if someone moves the head really quickly, um, if we don't have another frame to deliver immediately, we can do a lot of cool stuff with the frame that we have to keep it smooth. Um, cool things like um, for, for developers like uh, VR SLI, um, we can actually pair a dedicated GPU with an eye. Um, so if you have SLI two-way, you got one for each eye. If you have four-way, you can do double two on each eye. And that's basically to get the frames really high. Um, you know, you want that 90 FPS sweet spot. You want to get above that. And for the photon to movement ratio, you want sub 20 milliseconds, you know, to really have that immersive experience. Um, a really amazing technique that we have now that are, that's available for, for developers through this program is uh, multi-res shading. And uh, this is actually unique to, to um, Maxwell architecture. It's part of our multi-projection architecture. And basically, we can take a rendered image and split it up into a bunch of different viewports, and we can process each viewport independently of the others, all in a single pass. So what this does for us is it, it, it allows us to give the S SDK to the developers so that they can make the decision, hey, you know what, we want to boost performance, let's, let's process the outer edge of the image a little bit differently um, to save them, you know, to boost performance, draw fewer pixels actually. What we noticed was that um, you know, when we distort the image po uh, in post to uh, accommodate the actual lens shape, that the pixel density on the outer edges wasn't really needed. I mean, first of all, people don't move their eyes around when they're, when they're wearing a VR headset. They move their head around. That's the experience. Um, our vision is really bad when we look in our peripheral anyways. Um, but even when you study it, and I'm going to have you study this, um, very, very difficult to see a difference. Um, so. Let's uh, have you put this on here. Okay, and this is a, a demo that we, we, we built at NVIDIA to kind of demonstrate this multi-res shading. Um, so I'm gonna enable a grid here, it's a yellow grid, and you can see the different viewports that we have, these quadrants on the rendered image. Um, the center you wanna leave alone, it's a one for one, because um, that's where your focus is, your eye. But um, we're going to be processing the outer edges at a different scale. Um, we're going to actually paint fewer pixels so we can up the, uh, the, the game performance. So I'm going to take away the, the grid so you can just not be distracted by it. But using your eyes, not your head, pick a point near the edge somewhere, just a detail. And um, this is without any processing right now. And I'm going to enable it and I want you to look at that edge, that detail and see if you can see a big difference. Um, you, some of the best people with the best eyes cannot see a difference, so don't feel bad if you can't, because <laughs> this is actually a very, uh, uh, this, we're, we're, we're processing 22% fewer pixels right now. So let me disable it, and now I'm gonna enable it. You see any I difference see in the- literally no difference. Okay. <laughs> All right, no it difference. Looks exactly the same. So the, dif the difference really is that right now, what you're seeing, is we're, we're rendering all the pixels, and now 
that's 22% fewer pixels. So you yeah, get a lot more perf. I don't notice any, yeah. any difference. Um, let's go a little <laughs> bit more aggressive here. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to boost the processing here. Let's go 50%. All right, so here's without any. And you might detect a little bit of a difference on some of the edges, but it's gonna be very, very, very subtle. Um, some people don't see it at all. So I've enabled it. And now we're drawing 50% fewer pixels. So a maybe, huge perf bump. Maybe a little bit not Yeah. Much. If, if, if any, I'm, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Wow. So do you, do you still see it? No, it looks, it looks normal to me. Okay. Let me just mix things up here. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to tell a difference yeah, unless really you have something is. to compare it to. Yeah. And you know, people don't play games like this, of course. You're, you're running through fragging people and uh, <laughs> you, you, you don't stop to smell the roses usually and, and inspect a, a line here or there. But yeah, hardly any difference at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're, we're rendering half the pixels. Wow. So huge perf bump. And this is what helps helps us get the, the perf above 90 FPS.